Jennard's move in this episode reminds me of the same move Ghost did when Tommy was nearly killed by those Koreans. Some people are with the view that Jennard was aiming at Tommy because Elijah got killed and his dislike for Tommy since he's influencing his big brother, Diamond. In this video, I'm going to talk about why Jennard opened fire during Tommy's meeting with the Serbs, Liliana's lifespan in force, Claudia and the mess she has created, and of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button for more power content. If you have already subscribed, thank you for the support. Now, let's get straight into business. Now, before I talk about why Jennard opened fire on Tommy and the Serbs, let's make some character analysis first. Jennard here reminds me of Kane in Power Book 2, always in Tariq's business, trying to turn Monet against him and also trying to kill him. Now, I see similar traits in Jennard here where he's all about Tommy's business with his brother, trying to turn Diamond against him, feeling like Tommy is taking his spot in his brother's life like Kane with Tariq. Now, moving on to why Jennard did what he did at the end of the episode, this is why. After they took care of most of the Serbs, Tommy had one last issue to deal with and that is saving Liliana. Since the deal he made with Diamond was over, he was left alone to save himself and Liliana. Now, Jennard, who really wants Tommy out of his way and that of his brother, should have been happy that Tommy was going to get all the smoke if he tries to save Liliana all by himself. In other words, this should have been a wish come easy for Jennard. Now, why would Jennard decide to want to take Tommy out at the place where he was going to be killed anyways. This question alone will give you an insight that Jennard wasn't after Tommy because going after Tommy in the middle of this is suicidal in the first place. Secondly, he doesn't even know which side Tommy was going to be standing enough to aim at him. So if you ask me, Jennard wasn't going after Tommy even though he wished to take him out for some other reasons. But instead, this drive-by was rather to save both Tommy and Liliana. Someone would say he went after Tommy because Elijah was killed and that was his boy and his day one. But if Jennard wanted to take Tommy out, he had a clear chance in the warehouse to have done so. And like I said, the venue was not the best to aim at one person. So if you ask me, it was to cause distraction and divert attention in order to save Tommy and Liliana. That was why neither Liliana nor Tommy knew who was even shooting at them. So in my opinion, going after Tommy for Elijah's death is not a good reason for me because he knew what they signed up for by going after the Serbs. So he can't blame Tommy for Elijah's death. Now that we can all agree Jennard wasn't after Tommy, let's see why Jennard of all people decided to save Tommy in this case. Two reasons. One is, Jenna seemed to have feelings for Liliana. If you remember the last episode where he must keep an eye on Liliana, he tried so many times to remove her panties. Ah, uh, baby. Because you kept trying to fuck me the whole time I was cutting. And you dipped before you finished, so what? I'm sorry, I didn't have time to stop by HR and file a fucking complaint for harassment in the workplace. He was flirting with her and even had to give her the money she asked for in order to touch his car. Now, the initial deal was to touch it, but Jennard ended up kissing the scar. Now, that is some intimate way of having feelings for someone who everyone keeps saying no man will fuck with her because of her scars. And also, saving Liliana will give Jennard the opportunity to score some points with her. And if Liliana will have to pay attention to Jennard in a romantic way, I'm sure this move he made by saving her is the key to Liliana's heart. Now, the second reason why I think Jennard saved Tommy and Liliana is that, if you remember, Tommy saved him from Roha's crew in episode 2. Now take a look at this. This scene right here where Jennard was looking at his brother and the gun before making the move to save Tommy is a scene that they established to set a tone of consideration, passion, helping, returning the favor, you name it. The tone of this scene is set to give the audience a feeling that he is about to do something bad but ends up saving the day. Now why would Jennard have a second thought about Tommy? because he was the same person who helped his brother save him when he was nabbed by Roha's crew. On top of that, Tommy took care of the two people who robbed him all by himself, so if not for anything at all, he owes Tommy one favor and that is why he made the decision to save Tommy and Liliana. Someone will ask, 
Why didn't he tell Diamond to help him if he really wanted to save Tommy? Because Diamond wouldn't have even understood his brother if he proposes the save or help Tommy since he was always against him. And I'm sure that is why Jenna didn't even bother here to involve Diamond. Now let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you agree with what I'm saying or you have a different reason to why Jenna did what he did. Now moving on, Liliana's lifespan in power is becoming questionable. We know in power, once you are becoming a liability, you are becoming a weakness to someone or some people. And once you are becoming a liability, you are highly expendable. Now, Liliana is gradually becoming a liability in Tommy's weakness. Her overexposure is making her the weak link to Tommy. If this continues, she will end up dead soon or get Tommy in some big trouble. I only hope that the writers keep her out of trouble so that we can see more of her and Tommy. I believe a lot of people are getting attached to her and Tommy's bond. But one thing I've learned about these power writers is that they are quick to break hearts. The moment you want to bond with a character, the next episode, he or she is dead. So word of advice, be careful how you enjoy Liliana and Tommy's moment because that reunion can end at any time. Now leave your thoughts about Liliana in the comment section and what you think about her getting caught all the time. Now moving on, Claudia I believe has made her first kill. From her expression, she hasn't killed before. Now that she knows who the chemist is, she really doesn't need this girl here. And if this happens to be her first murder, then I guess she has no idea of how to get rid of the body. Now who will Claudia call to help her get rid of her body? Victor or Tommy? Your guess is as good as mine. If Claudia needs to keep her secret drug dealing from her family, then she can only fall on Tommy to clean up her mess. If she calls Victor, he is going to ask questions to understand why she needed to even kill a lady in the first place. Now, Walter on the other hand has overstepped his boundaries with Victor and I won't be surprised to see another child killing the father. In this case, Two people have their own interests. Victor wants a life with Gloria. That is a reason enough to earn his father for his freedom. Moreover, his father is sick, so he's going to die anyways. Now, secondly, Claudia wants to be in the game and her father says no. After her first killing, I guess she would like to be that ambitious lady and take her father out. Don't forget, she has also learned from Gloria that her father is sick. It's just a matter of time for her to know the details. Now, finally, in my previous video, I stated that JP will surely find some secrets in his grandmother's room. Like we have in the scene here, he is gradually discovering a lot and sooner, we will get to know some dark secret Kate left behind. Now, let me know what you think by leaving your thoughts below in the comment section. Now, if you like this video, kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, and don't forget to leave your comments below. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.